Alright, Fury back with another video. Today I'm coming at you guys with a video uh, explaining. Oh, is that my horse doing that? Whoa, well, um, the best assassin or mercenary um, cards in Red Dead or ability cards. That's it. So basically, you want to press L1. Then triangle or LB and Y on Xbox, and then you will come to your ability or card loadout. You see, I've only got this one level one just because I've only just requested it. I usually it's oh wait, not that one. It's got 428 um, XP. So yeah, let's just get into it. So the first card is always going to be your dead eye, and it was a tough choice between paint it black and a focus fire because focus fire you obviously deal more damage if more people are on your team, but if no one or if one, and if one member has it, it does the ability doesn't like double or anything. But sometimes people aren't in, like, they're only playing on their own or something. So this is why I decided to go for Painted Black. Um, essentially, if you don't know what Painted Black is, you probably all should. But if you don't, it basically allows you to, uh, while you're in Deadeye, mark opponents. Like, mark where you want to shoot opponents. So let me just quickly show you if it allows me so we're gonna come to let's just go for the guy who's like or npc is just like standing there i don't know uh all right we found a guy um or two and essentially what happens you do it it does like these x and then obviously there it shoots them in the head and um, I didn't mean to shoot. I mean, I didn't mean to kill him. Oh god, I didn't think this will. Um, so yeah, that's basically what it does. So, um, it places an X where it's gonna shoot. So you could easily get like one hit kills. It's probably the best ability card there is for the dead eye. Um, let me just escape the law. Horse don't like walk into me. That would be illegal. <clears throat> oh, I don't know, I don't die! Okay, we're not. Um, oh god. <clears throat> and the next one is Cold Blooded. This one also goes well with an assassin or mercenary build, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to just call it um, an assassin from now on. So basically, every time you kill someone, you regain it like tons of health within three seconds so if you get two kills you'll get like max health like in like six seconds basically so it's really good for not dying basically and like keeping you alive so if i was like if i fell if you if you saw just there uh, it regens anyway my health so you seen there and then if I, there's no one even here, if I killed someone, then I would get max health, like, in three seconds, basically. Basically what it's saying. <clears throat> so, this really goes well for, like, not dying, and, like, um, if you're in, like, a tough situation, and if, if it's, like, a gang for you, and you get a kill, you basically got a boost with not dying. So it obviously goes pretty well with the um, ability cards. And then the next one is Handman. Um, well, it was either Handman or Winning Streak because um, with Winning Streak, um, if you shoot someone in the leg, then in the arm or something, they're gonna die. But um, you only have like ten seconds to do it. 
and um, you know, not really gonna work all the time. So that's why I went with Hangman. So basically, if you're doing bounties or chasing like a grief or something, um, you wanna kill them as fast as you can, essentially. So if you have this upgraded to level three, you practically. If you get someone with it with the lasso, it the reinforced lasso, before they can escape, they're gonna die, basically. And it's not that hard to lasso someone, uh, especially in griefers. To be honest, like they're always on, like ready for the fight. And um, yeah, so if you if you get this level max out level three, and then you like get a grief for someone, and then. You obviously want to kill the griefer, like who wouldn't. Uh, you basically put your lasso around them and the reinforced one. Wait like, what, like five seconds and then they're dead. Like, so simple. I mean, like, if winners you were in the game, this would be a no brainer. Like, no joke. <clears throat> and now, uh, on to the last one. This is also one that is debatable. It's either fool me once, wait, where am I going there? Or never without one. And you could choose either one, but I only went with fool me once because with never without one, I don't have an, uh, a hat equipped in all my outfits. And also, it had that massive nerf um, a few months ago, which made it worse, basically. So, you know, it's still, if you get hit in the head, that half blocks it. And like I said, I don't, it won't be good for me because I don't have a half equip on all my um, outfit. So, I went with Fool Me Once, which is you take much less damage each consecutive time consecutive basically means like in a row so you take less damage each oh that wouldn't make sense in a row uh, each consecutive time or like one after another basically so if i get shot twice straight away um i i take less damage so i get shot like in the in the chest and it, for example, it takes all me health, uh, like half me health away, and then get shot again. It won't take um, it'll take as like it won't take as much health, basically. So, I I I think you should choose this one a bit more, to be honest. Because if you're like I said in a gang or something, or like uh, against a gang, or in a legendary bounty. And then, say like a red bank on someone, and you've got on the train where it's quite tight, and then you've got red bank and his gang shooting at you. If you get shot twice, you'll take less damage every time. So if you get shot five times, you probably and you have max health, you're probably not gonna die. But the effect ends if you're not shot for ten seconds. So if I get shot once. And then, like ten seconds later, shot again. It won't. It will still do the same amount of damage. So, uh, it's better than this one for it. Not uh, never without one. So that's why I chose it. And then, obviously, I showed you Hangman, which is the most no brain. Oh no, actually, this is the no brainer one, painted black, because. It's just simple to kill people with. I mean, like, if you have this equipped level 3, you're always gonna, like, there's not, there's like a 10% chance you're gonna die. Like, honestly, it's, it's quite, it's one of the best cars, like, in Red Dead ever. Like, no joke, it's no joke, it's amazing. So that is it for my assassin slash mercenary build for um, Red Dead Redemption 2. This is the one I'm rocking right now because it is my favourite. 
um, consists of all types of ability, attack, defense, and health. Yeah, that's basically it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.